Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matsuro and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto VPC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your add-on vehicle inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So guys, there's two different types of vehicles. We have the add-on vehicle, this, which is what we are doing right now. That's the method that we are doing now guys. And we have a replacement vehicle, which means you are replacing the vehicle. But I will do that tutorial on another video. So guys, this video is all about on how to install your add-on vehicle inside your Grand Theft Auto V game. So all you guys got to do is make sure you guys download all the requirements that's inside my description below. And make sure that the requirements is the latest version. Once you guys have completed that, then all you guys got to do is go to this website. And then you can find your vehicle on what you guys want. Make sure it's an add-on vehicle and not a replacement one. So guys, I have already found a vehicle that I want to download, okay, and install. So I'm using this one. If you guys want to use this one, I will leave this download in my description below. Once you download the mod and even download all of your requirements and install them all, all you guys got to do next, okay, is open up your extract folder, which is your add-on vehicle extract folder and then now what you guys gotta do is that you got a few files in here or folders or whatever uh, there will be a readme file inside your extract folder and there will be another folder inside your extract folder inside that folder there's always a dlc.rpf now all you guys gotta do okay is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game Hover over it, right click and open file location. Once you guys have finished with that, go to your mods folder. Then now go to your update folder. Then go to your time 64 and then go to DRC packs folder. Now all you guys got to do is go back to your extract folder. Click on your folder that's inside your extract folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder. Once you guys complete it, go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click and then refresh the folder. Exit out of your game folder. And then now go to your Open IV. Open up your Open IV. And then go to your Grand Theft Auto V windows. And then all you guys gotta do, okay, just wait for a few seconds. And now all you guys gotta do next is go to your edit mode. Select yes. Go to mods again, go to updates, then go to update.rpf, and then go to common, then go to data, and then scroll right to the bottom until you see drclist.xml, and there it goes. Hover over the file, right click, and edit. Now, inside your readme.txt, okay, there will be a code. And this is the code that we are looking for guys so copy the code okay copy the code okay and then now all you guys got to do next okay is just scroll right down the bottom now down the bottom okay just click on the item at the end press enter once on your keyboard and then now paste your code right there Now all you guys got to do next, okay, is press save and then now go back to your DRC list dot XML, double click and then check to see if it's, yeah, it's it is there. <laughs> because guys, you always got to double check, okay, just in case. So double check to see if it's there. If it is, then good. Now exit out of your application and then click on edit mode, click on GTA V, exit out of your open IV. And then exit out of your extract folder. Then now refresh your desktop guys. And then I will see you guys in the game. Now guys we're here with Franklin. And as you guys can see. I've got my vision mods on. That's pretty sick. 
So I'm gonna go outside guys, okay, and we're gonna go and spawn that vehicle. So um I think it's best for me to go to the airport because it's too crowded here. Ah oh, no, it's right, I'm just going to spawn the vehicle. Oh yeah, let's 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 just go to the airport guys. So now guys we are here and we are going to spawn the vehicle. So to spawn the vehicle with your trainer V is to press F4. Then go down right down to vehicle spawning. Then go right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu. And then I uh, oh gee, there's a few there's a few things here. Um I think what was the vehicle called again? I forgot. I think the vehicle was called uh, yeah, R8 Racer. Oh yeah, here it goes guys. So this is the vehicle guys, this is a sick as a vehicle, look at it man. So so guys we're gonna go and test out this car to see how fast it can go. Uh it's best to go on the highway but let's just try it at the airport okay. Uh let's just go over here for more space. Let's see how fast this vehicle can go eh? Let's go up here a bit more space. Right, here guys and five Four, three, two, one, and go. Oh, jeez. This vehicle is so, so awesome. Uh, 223, 25, 24, 23, 27, 27. Nice, 27 is the highest. Nice. Oh, whoa, stop. Yes, yeah, so 27, 227, not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, this vehicle is awesome. It's a sick vehicle. Uh, you can't go wrong, and it's easy to install, guys, okay? So, guys, I hope you guys did understand um, on how to install add-on vehicles, okay, guys? Don't forget, guys, to stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to do another video about vehicles on how to install. Um replacement vehicles okay guys because they go there's a lot of people out there wants to know on how to replace a vehicle or how to like add your own paint jobs and etc or how to add your own um tires and you know how to mod your own vehicle okay guys okay so stay tuned for that guys okay but just to let you guys know there is a mod menu video coming soon it's just that it is you know i'm just testing it right now so guys stay tuned for more videos okay so with that i see you guys i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys did then give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget guys if you are new here subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials i do loads of tutorials on grand theft auto v pc modding tutorials and even YouTube tutorials and Discord tutorials. So guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. And I'm out.